as me bpvc or boil and pressure vessel codes can be mainly categorized as construction codes reference codes and in service codes like for instance we have for construction and design codes we have section 1 for power boiler section 3 for nuclear components section 4 for heating boilers section 8 for unfired pressure vessels section 10 for fiber reinforced plastic pressure vessels and section 12 for transport tanks and in category b for reference codes we have section 2 for materials section 5 for non-destructive examination and section 9 for welding brazing and other joining methods these are reference codes that can be utilized by all other uh, bpvc codes so they are common codes for all and finally in service codes which are also called care and operation codes for section 6 we have care and operation of heating boilers section 7 for care and operation of power boilers and section 11 for in service inspection of nuclear components As me BPVC section 8 division 1 code contains mandatory requirements, specific prohibitions and non-mandatory guidance for pressure vessel materials, design, fabrication, examination, testing, certification and pressure relief systems. Now here it is important to note that code does not address all aspects of these activities and those aspects which are not specifically ad addressed should not be considered prohibited. So when engineering judgment are used, they should be consistent with the philosophy of the code and such judgment must never be used to overrule mandatory requirements or specific prohibitions. Now to code subsections. First we have introduction where it's a general introduction containing U section from U1 to U5. Then code is further subdivided into three subsections namely A, B and C. So subsection A contains general requirements UG that are common for all pressure vessels. Subsection B contains requirements related to method of fabrication that is UW for welding, UF for forging components and UB for brazing requirements. And finally subsection C it contains requirement related to specific materials such as UCS for carbon and low alloy steels, UNF non-ferrous UHA for high alloy steels such as stainless or other uh, steels uh, UCI for cast iron UCL for cladding and linings UCD for, UCD for cast ductile iron and similarly other uh, sections and then we have mandatory appendices and these contains uh, subjects that are not covered anywhere else in the code so if it is applicable then they become mandatory to be complied with and non-mandatory appendices uh, in contrast are you can say information and suggested good practices that can be used by users or fabricators but they are not mandatory So codes such as section 8 division 1 uses certain guide words or keywords that have specific meanings such as shell which is which denotes some mandatory requirements. Similarly if we add not with the shell that is shell not then it becomes mandatory prohibition. And we have may which is a permission or a recommendation that is not mandatory and should which is just a recommendation. Interpretations are technical replies to code queries by the individuals or users. We have code revisions that is to accommodate any technological developments or to incorporate code cases or even to clarify code intent. Code cases these represent alternatives or addition to existing code requirements and sometimes they are issued to clarify code intent. Previously we had addendas. Of the code so approved revisions additions were published as agenda to the code but since 2013 edition they are no longer used
now we'll present some code definitions and one of the most important definition is design pressure this term is the pressure used in design with coincident design metal temperature design pressure is used to get the required thickness of the component in most cases this comes from the client or the user and usually this is your most uh, abnormal operating condition and let's suppose we don't have the design value then in that case the maximum uh, operating condition and then we'll add 10% to it to get the design pressure design pressure in some cases can be taken equivalent to MAWP which is maximum allowable working pressure then we have full vacuum or sometimes written as FV even on the nameplate of the uh, vessel it is a condition where internal absolute pressure is 0 psi or kilopascal and external absolute pressure on vessel is 15 psi or 101.3 or kilopascal and finally membrane stress uh, this relates to the normal stress component that is uniformly distributed and equal to the average value of stress across the thickness of section and specifically this applies to thin sections because we can assume safely that uh, stresses does not change or varies across the thickness due to less thickness.